Hello everyone, welcome to Love and Lux. Today I'm going to go over my Hermes bracelet collection, but before that I'll go over what I'm wearing. Uh, I'm wearing these earrings that are 18 karat gold. I talked about these before, in fact I wore these before. Um, I mentioned that I got these from a local jeweler that closed down. Um, I asked him where he got these from and he said a local estate store. I mean, a local estate. Well, he didn't say local, but he said he got it from an estate sale. I said local because my neighbor um, just had an estate sale. Um, this weekend and the weekend before last. I don't know if I can get close up so you can kind of see the detail. They, it, the picture that's on here, it actually, you could see it if you hold it this way. They almost look like ancient Mayan or something, I don't know, but they're 18 karat gold. And um, I'm wearing the Van Cleef necklace, Van Cleef and Arpel, and the Black Onyx, one of my everyday necklaces. This is the Figaro Link necklace um, that I bought from the same jewelry, jewelry store. Um, this one I've had for, I don't know how many years, probably about 11 years by now, I would say. And then it's just got the black enamel, um, it's like an Egyptian style pendant. And then just the regular watch and ring, um, and then the everyday stack, um, Tiffany's, these three are Cartier, this is just the Datejust 36, um, Rolex. This one has that um, type of invisible type of clasp on it that just has the crown. I don't know if I ever showed that before or if you can even see it. I bought this one about almost four years ago, about three and a half years ago, I would say, from my local um, Rolex um, store. And... You probably can't see it. I don't know. The ring light. It's hard to show stuff in detail when you got this ring light on. But it just looks like a crown. And I, I heard that they don't make them look like this anymore. There you go. Maybe you can see it like that. The clasp, it just looks like a little crown. I'm actually going to keep this off because I'm going to show um, my bracelets. I'll just put... Because it's going to be hard to show it with, with this one. Especially with this love bracelet. That's what I was saying in the other videos. That um, Yeah, with the love bracelet, you have to screw it off. And I don't feel like doing that. So usually I'll wear this as my everyday stack. And if I want to wear other bracelets, I'll just throw them on this arm. Um... But this is my everyday watch, or one of my everyday watches. I don't know if I ever showed this watch close up in detail, but this is what it looks like. Let me see if I could get it to focus, which I, I'm not sure if I can do that. So this is a size 36. Um, Jubilee bracelet. It's got the fluted bezel, two-tone, obviously. Diamonds at the number marker, and black dial. And like I said, I bought this almost four years ago. It's been a little over three and a half years. video ain't even about this. I always do that. Um, what I have on my lips is called Bikini. It's a lip gloss from Christian the Baton. And this is what it looks like. This is the color. Um, I like it. I mean, I have a few of his lip glosses and lipsticks and stuff. I mentioned that he was one of my favorites. Christian the Baton, Tom Ford, and um, Hermes. Those are my favorites when it comes to Libby's. What I'm wearing as far as perfume is this um, this is a number five body cream. I'm not wearing the, um, it's called Velvet Body Cream in number five. I'm not wearing the perfume. I mentioned that before that sometimes um, I'll just wear the lotions and I won't layer it with the perfumes and the other stuff that I have to go with it. Because um, sometimes I just, I don't want to do all that. And you probably can't see it without me spilling it, but it's creamy. I have the lotion, the body lotion and other stuff that goes with it. Oils and stuff like that, but for the most part... Um, I layer them, and then sometimes, like I said, I don't feel like it. This is, let me see if it says ounces. Five ounces. Yeah, it's five ounces, so. Some people, number five isn't their thing, but I love it. Every time when I run out of my number five stuff, I always go back and repurchase. So this is what I'm wearing. As far as my perfume, or scent, it smells like perfume, but it's lotion. And everyday rings. So we got the 18 karat gold Gucci ring. I believe the logo is called 1975. I mean... 1970 maybe 1971 1973 i can't remember and then this is just a rose gold um 18 karat rose gold ring from hermes and a rose gold i said that already right hermes rose gold it's just a band and then i, I showed this before just the everyday stack tiffany's this is rose gold yellow gold classic love bracelet rose white and yellow gold this is called the trinity silk cord bracelet and then the juice and clue which is the standard classic size these three are always going to be available because I believe they're classics from 
Cartier, at least the, the love and the, the juice and glue. I don't know if, this one's still available, but I don't know if they would consider that, that little silk cord a classic. I don't think so, but it is still available. And then this one, this one is the Graffiti Love Bracelet from Paloma Picasso. This particular bracelet on the cord is no longer available, but, um, on a cord it's not available, but on the black cord it's no longer available this way, but they do have it with, like, um, the gold, um, where this part is just a gold, um, like a chain, like a gold bracelet type of detail. Um, but I like it on the cord, on the, on the um, black cord. This is the everyday stack. And, um, now we're going to get into, I think I went over everything. Oh, no, I didn't my shirt. So this is a, um, wraparound shirt from the Gap. I wore this shirt, not this particular one, I don't think, but, um, I think it was a gray, like a heather gray one in one of my videos. This is from the Gap. And that's it. I think I went over everything. So now we'll get into the bracelets. Um, some of the bracelets are leather, some are metal. Um, I never counted, I just count. So there's nine bracelets in total. Hopefully the video won't be too long. I wore this one in a video before. I think this is called the Evelyn Sunset Cuff. And it's a coated metal. I don't know what aluminum. This is a powder coated aluminum. And on one of my other videos, um, I mentioned looking inside. It says Hermes here, and then it says made in USA. So these are made in America. And I mentioned that when I put it on, you have to size up. This is, I wear a T2. So with this, um, I would recommend the T3. One of my wrists is smaller than the other. This one is a little bit smaller than the other. So th it's easier to put on this wrist, especially when I didn't have this screwed on. But now that I'm wearing my stack again, um, I'll have to go back to wearing it on this one. So the way I put it on is I put it in on the inside of the wrist and then I turn it. And that's what it looks like. This one is pretty comfortable to me, but a lot of people don't like it because they say it's uncomfortable. Now on the back, it can pinch in on your on your arm. Um, that's why I recommend going up a size because the way it's shaped, and let me take it off so I can show you. I'm sitting here struggling. <laughs> so the way, if you see the way it looks and it's got two, um, what is this called? Anchor? This little detail here, I think. I know they've got like Sean Donk and other stuff, if I'm even saying that right with this little detail. But whatever. Anyway, that's what it looks like. So it has it on this side and then again on this side. And then it just has the perforated H, which it matches the Evelyn back there. I'm going to do a review um, on that Evelyn back soon. But what I was saying, the reason why I would recommend sizing up and why I think people don't like it is because um, this part, the back part, it comes in like that. So it, it has a tendency to grip the inside of your wrist. That's why I said probably size up. And I mentioned this before because I wore this before in one of my videos that it's really, really hard. This aluminum, this powder coated aluminum, it's very, very, very hard. So it's not like you can like, you know how some cuffs you can bend them. And so this one, you, you won't be able to bend it. You won't be able to pull it out and you won't be able to squeeze it in. So it's just set in the way it is. Um, I would, wouldn't recommend buying this online. Um, I would recommend going into the store if you can because I wouldn't want you to get it and then it's it's pinching into your wrist like literally going like this um, if I put my arm up then it could, I can show you so if I put my arm up and you see how it's like pinching in my wrist right there because I had to push it up for some people even when it's here it does that that's why I said size up a size but it's very comfortable for me um, I like it a lot actually. I wear it a lot in the spring summer. I wear black in the summertime and in the spring. Um, yeah, it's not just a color that I wear in fall winter. So I absolutely love it. They have different ones. They have the CDCs that are like this in the aluminum cuff. They have them available in other colors. Um, but mine is just in a plain black. Okay, so let's move on to the next one because um, I don't want the video to be too long. I guess next we'll talk about the... Um, what are these called? Click clacks. Um, this is, like I said, the click clack because the smaller one, the thinner one is called the click H, I believe. And um, the click clack is the one that I like, the medium size. I know they had a bigger one. I don't know what the bigger one was called, but um, all of mine are the medium size ones. And again, I wear a T2. So this is obviously the black enamel with the gold hardware. And a lot of people probably already know, so you squeeze it. The, the bracelet itself, like the two sides, you have to squeeze it. And then you can twist it. You won't be able to twist it if you don't squeeze it. Once you tw twist it, then it can open. So I'll show you what it looks like on. Well, I'll show you what it looks like on the inside. They're all the same. So it's just got that, um, you know, I still have the plastic on that. Do you see that? <laughs> and I said to myself, I was going to keep the plastic one because the first one that I bought, um, it got really scratched up on the back really fast. Like you could see the hairline scratches on it just from the first day I wore it. So I was like, you know what? I think I might want to keep the plastic. 
for as long as I can anyways. But anyways, this is what it looks like on the inside. And I don't know if that's a serial number, but it just says Hermes on the inside. So yeah, so you open it up like this and then you just pop it on your wrist and then you push it down. And this is what it looks like. I typically don't stack these with anything. Um, these I wear primarily in the spring summer. I like looser things um, or met some type of metal, not something that's gonna sit flush to your wrist like a watch. If I'm wearing a watch, it has to be like a bangle style watch or something like that because when in the warmer months, I don't like it when your skin sweats underneath. Just like leather bracelets. I don't like to wear leather bracelets either in the warmer months because I feel like you sweat more when things are sitting like, you know, just snug on your wrist. Not tight, but just flat, like flush on your wrist. But that's what these look like. And this is just the black enamel with the gold hardware. So I'll take this one off. I'll show the first one that I forgot. Which is this one. This is the Hermes orange with the gold hardware. And this is what I mean by the back of it got kind of like scratched up from like the first day that I wore it. Their hairline scratches. Yeah, for the most part, I'd say their hairline scratches. So from the looks of this one is why I said, you know what, I better keep the plastic on. The price changed back in the day when I bought this after taxes and shipping, it was eight something because it was seven something. Now I think they're six something. So they actually went down on price. Um, but that happened a long time ago. I want to say they went down on the price probably like six years ago, six or seven years ago. Um, and that's what this, this one looks like. Hold on. They're all the same size T2 and they're all the click clack size. Okay, so I have one more of these to show. I would mind getting um, two more in white, one with silver hardware and one with gold hardware. But for now, um, I'm happy with what I have. Will I get them in white? I'm not sure, but I wouldn't mind buying them in white though. This one is black enamel with the silver hardware. I only have three Hermes handbags and they all have the silver hardware or palladium plated hardware. But I do mix my metals, so sometimes, for example, if I'm wearing my black Kelly, um, then I'll wear it with the gold hardware, but it matches perfectly to this one because it has, if you can see that, because it has the silver hardware. I know I shouldn't have dragged it across the shelf like that. I should have picked it up, but let's show with this one. And again, this one has a plastic on the back still because the, the orange one, like I said, was the, this one even still has a sticker. Maybe I haven't worn this one yet. Anyways, when you get it brand new, it has a sticker on the inside like this. I might as well show it. Yeah, I don't think I've worn this one before. Made in France. I don't think I said, I mentioned that, but they say, let me see. Oh, they all say that. Yeah, made in France. And it says Hermes. It says um, a serial number on there too. But this is what it looks like on the inside. So that sticker right there, you'd have to take that out. But I don't know. I can't remember if I bought this online or... I buy this in the store? I can't remember. It doesn't matter. Anyways, it's, I still have the plastic on the back of this one because like I said, uh, they, this, they get so scratched up in the back. Um, yeah, I can't remember if I ever wore this or not. This one is the newest one though, I think, as far as the click clacks go. That's, that's the thing that, you know, people make, that's my stomach rumbling. People make um, YouTube videos and buy these luxury items and honestly, it's hard to wear all your stuff. Let's just keep it real. Like in your everyday life, like I, if I'm just lounging around my house and I'm not going anywhere, I'm in sweats like every day. I wear sweats and a t-shirt, like a long sleeve t-shirt from the Gap and sweats from the Gap. So you shop and for my laid back type of lifestyle, I don't always get a chance to wear my stuff. That's a shame because I don't even remember when I bought this. I don't even think I wore this yet, but maybe now that I'm wearing YouTube videos, like I said, outfit of the days and vlogging and stuff like that, maybe I'll be more willing to pull my stuff out more and wear it. It's not that I don't wear my stuff, but when you have a lot of stuff, um, it's kind of like out of sight, out of mind, you know? Uh, I'm just going to sit here and admit it. Like, I have a ton of stuff that I probably have had for a long time and haven't even used yet. And then some stuff I wear all the time on a regular basis. Like this, I barely wear this. Only sometimes. A lot of times I wear it a lot in the spring, summer. Um, whereas these are like every day. You know what I mean? These I rotate off and on, even though these are my favorite. Of all the earrings I own, whether they're luxury or not, um, the earrings I have, whether they're a luxury pair or not, these, which are not a pair of luxury earrings, but they are 18 karat um, yellow gold, these are my favorite. 
So some, some of the stuff you wear all the time, some of it you barely wear. These I rotate off and on here and there. Okay, so I'm holding this up, so I guess I might as well go over my um, CDCs. I only have two of them, so this is one of them. And it's black. I don't know my leathers from Hermes, so I have no idea what to tell you what this is. It's smooth. It's a smooth type of leather, that's all I know, and it has a gold hardware. Um, have I worn this in a video yet? This is what it looks like on the back side. Um, it says Hermes Paris France on this side right here in the middle. I don't know if you can see that writing in the middle there. Um, yeah, and all my bracelets are T2. A lot of the times when I wear these, I like to wear them backwards like that. Um, but I'll put it on real quick and show you what it looks like. So with this one, it's going to be kind of hard to do. But with this one, um, it's got the holes here. And so this part goes inside the hole. So say, for example, if you wanted to put it on this one. You just put it through. This is, I mean, obviously you have to do it when it's on your wrist. And then you just push this up on here. I don't know if it, you push it up here and that's okay. Or does it have to go like all the way on here next to it like that? I'm not really sure. Normally I don't put it next to that. I just push it up as long as it's up far enough, then I'm fine with it like that. But I'm not sure if that's how you're supposed to wear it or not. So that's the back. I think technically this is supposed to be the back and this is the front. Sometimes I wear it like this and this thing does move back and forth and it creates a little, like a little smile mark on the top and bottom. Um, I keep the plastic on this though to help prevent that and some people say it erodes but if it's starting to look crazy up under here then I'll just take it off but so far this one I've had for a year I'm late to the CDC game but better late than ever I'm glad I got it though actually do I want more CDCs I don't know I'm happy with the two that I have um, and if I wind up getting another one then great so let me put it on real quick and then I'll show you what it looks like on me I could have sworn I wore this in a video before though it's hard to put it on while you're um, trying to make a video at the same time. So this is what it looks like on me. I purposely have it um, loose because I'm going to flip it around. But this is what it looks like on the back. This is what it looks like in the front. This thing moves back and forth. I think rumor has it that they said this was made for someone who was walking their dog and they wanted um, Hermes to make them a bracelet where they can hook the dog leash to it and then just walk their dog that way or something to that effect but I, this is why i wanted to put it on loose so i could flip it around so i could show you what it looks like a lot of times i like wearing it like this and hermes does make i think it's called the cdc 24 where you don't have the hardware um you only have this hardware on the front so this part wouldn't be in the back and then i think it's slimmer it's not as wide as this so sometimes i wear it this part on the front and then sometimes i wear it this side on the front because I think this is the way it's supposed to be worn. I do want one of the CDC 24s. I want to try gold with gold hardware. I don't think I want a bunch of those. I think I just want one. Because I would like to get a Kelly gold with gold hardware as well. Okay, so the next one is another CDC. It's the only other CDC I have. This one is the same type of leather with the palladium hardware and again i have the sticker on it still like i said if i look at it and it looks like it's any sign of getting messed up damage from having this little clear sticker on and i'm going to take it off i was watching somebody's youtube video and they clarified that that was a myth that it really doesn't damage it and if it does it's going to take several years this one i got back in october i believe yeah and it's the same the exact same as the other one it's just one has silver one has gold so again, the, the, the jewelry that I have from Hermes with the silver hardware or the plating plated hardware matches back perfectly with my three Hermes bags. Hopefully I can get some Hermes bags with gold hardware though. I mix my metals anyway, so. But just to, you know, just to have a few bags with gold hardware because I do primarily wear gold, but at the same time, like I said, I don't mind mixing my metals. So if it never happens and I never get offered something in gold um, hardware, then that's okay. I mean, if I want it bad enough, I guess I could buy a pre-love. When you think about that, buying the bags pre-loved and how they come with the premium i don't know i was thinking about that recently and i was like you know is it really such a bad deal when you think about some of these people buy a lot of stuff before they're actually offered a bag right um i didn't have to wait to be offered any of my bag well i'm not going to say like the kelly but definitely my her bag zip and this one the kelly obviously i had to go get that in person but the the evelyn and the her bag zip i bought those online they were available at the hermes website and i threw it in my basket and it was shipped to me but um, 
I don't know if they're doing it differently now, but some people say, oh my God, I got offered a Picotine. And I'm like, really? You got to be offered that now? I thought you could just throw it in your basket and buy it if it's available online. Why am I struggling with this? Anyways, I'm going to put it on the first one. Again, it's in a size T2. Um, but like I was saying, when you think about um, the things that some people buy, the price, the amount of money they spend before they're actually offered, sounds like any bag in general, let alone a, a Constance, a Birkin, or Kelly. When you look at the price some of these people pay in total, then that kind of equal to the price of the bag if they would have bought it brand new, pre-loved, or close to new or something like that. I don't know. I'm I'm not really sure, but that's what I was thinking of today. I could be completely wrong about it, but is the pre-loved prices that bad, that far above retail when you think about like how they say you play the Hermes game and you have to buy so much stuff in order to be offered? That's not everybody's story, so I'm not going to sit here and say that was mine, but at the end of the day, um, does it... Does it equal out? Does it, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, is it, is it really that bad of a deal to buy a pre-loved when you think about how much in total some of these people spend to actually get offered the bag versus buying it pre-loved just off the rip and maybe paying a premium for it and just not even buying all that extra stuff that some people don't even want? Um, I'm not going to buy something I don't want. I'll tell you that right now. So here's um, what the silver one looks like. You'll see in my videos um, <laughs> that I, everything that I have from Hermes, I actually use it. Even if I don't get to use it that often because of my lifestyle, I do use it. Um, I didn't, like I said, the, this one I've worn, even though I got it in October. I don't know when I got this one. I want to say it was in 2021, but I don't know. I can't remember when, what month in 2021. So these, I've got these both in 2021, but I, I can't remember when. This one definitely was like in the fall, but this one, I, I can't remember. Um, yeah okay so we only have three more left um and they're all kelly dogs so i'll start with this one because this one i wore in one of my videos actually i think i wore two of my kelly dogs in one of my videos this one is a lizard a lizard skin so it has highs and lows some navies and some that's brighter in color as far as the blue lighter in color and then this was rose gold but it's oh look at that you just see all the um, fingerprints and stuff Looks like there's a scratch on it. I don't know if that's actually a scratch or not. It might be. But that's what it looks like. Yeah, it looks like there's a scratch going across right there. Everything shows up really good on this ring light. Because if I pull it back or if I'm looking at it like just regular. Yeah, it's faint. Like you can barely see it. But I'm trying to show it up close because it used to be rose gold. I've had, this was my first Kelly dog. And it's not rose gold anymore. Let me see. I'm trying to compare it to the yellow gold so you can kind of see. I wouldn't say it's rose gold anymore. You know the rose gold you typically fades into yellow gold. I think I mentioned that before. So it's not as yellow as this, but um, yeah. It's definitely faded into yellow gold. That doesn't even look like it was rose gold, but it was. And what I find with these bracelets is they fade, the rose gold fades fast. But yeah, let me show what this looks like on, and it just has the regular brown on the other side. Um, and I'm going to put it on the loosest one. A lot of times I put it on the middle one, even for the um, CDCs. Um, but just for the sake of the video, I'm trying to speed it up because it looks like it's going to be over 30 minutes. Um, because I wouldn't wear it this loose because it's on the first. Usually I put it in the second setting, in the second hole. And this one, you just turn it like the handbags, the Kellys. And I think the Birkins. I don't have a Birkin, so I'm 100% sure. But I think if you closed it up, you would turn this too. Like that. No. How does it go? Okay, so in the handbag, if it's closed, it looks like this. It's like straight. The little circle thing goes straight up and down. But on the bracelets, if it's closed, you turn it that way. And I mentioned before that um, when I bought this, I wanted it to go with um, my navy blue. Let me see if I could grab it. My navy blue trendy CC. I think I showed this before. This is one of my most used bags for all year round. They were doing a, a video was going around where you have your three most used for your fall winter, your three most used for your spring summer, and then like your Super Bowl bag that was going. It was like a tag that was going around. Um, obviously when the Super Bowl was here or whatever, and um. 
I, I was um and on and didn't know if I wanted to do that video or try to get in on the tag and I was just like no I'm not gonna do it but I said if I did it this would be my Super Bowl bag because this one goes from day to night all year round winter spring and summer fall this is the trendy I know the video isn't about this but this is the trendy CC wallet on chain um what I love about it is it has grommets at the top did I say this I think I went over this bag in a video before didn't I maybe I didn't but I love it that it has it's a wallet on chain but it has a grommets on top it's lambskin um and it's got the working um turn lock closure which a lot of the um a lot of the wallets on chains don't have. And I want to say this gold is like the champagne gold. I've had this for years. And then this one doesn't have a pocket on the back. I have a little thing in here that makes it um stay open. What I hate about these bags is if you don't have one of the little... What is it called? It's like a little insert you put in and it keeps it open. If you don't have that when you take your stuff out of it or you take something out like a phone, then the bag collapses in on itself and then you have to reopen it to put something else back in it but when you have something in here that keeps it open like that it's like a little trim that you put down in the bag you can put stuff in and out and you don't have to worry about it collapsing down on you um but anyways i'm always talking about stuff that have nothing to do with the video but i bought this because i wanted it to go with this and it's not even the same because this is a exotic skin it has the highs and the lows so could i pair it back and wear it with it yeah i could but it doesn't match as perfect. And then I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I bought a pair of Christian Louboutin heels. And um, th again, it's like three different shades of blue. All of these have like a navy. This is a true navy, but the heels, this and this, they're like three different shades. So yeah. But the good thing about this is that it has the highs and lows. So it's not going to be a perfect match because it's an exotic type of skin. Anyways, whatever. Stories for other days. After I didn't set up there and told the story already. The next one I'm going to go over is another one. I should have wiped this stuff off. There's fingerprints all over it. The next one is a white one that... Um, this is like an eggshell type of white. It's not an optic white or a bright white, but it is white. This one too, when I bought it, it had rose gold hardware and it faded away. The rose gold faded away so fast that it's just yellow gold looking now. And I'll hold it up next to this one so you can see the difference in color. Um, this one I bought two years ago. This one I bought several years ago. I can't remember when I bought it. But I don't know if you can see if, if there's even a difference in color. They both pretty much fade to yellow gold now. But, excuse me, this one, um, look again, they all look the same on the inside. I'll put this one on real quick so you can see what it looks like. I think I wore this one in another video too. And I'll put it on the first hole. Even though I usually wear it on the second hole. But that's what this one looks like. What I what I love about the Kelly dogs is there's it's simple and plain. I mean, you only have this little piece of hardware in the front, and there's no hardware to deal with on the back. I don't know if I said this before, but if you're typing or working from a computer, um, doing anything with your hands, writing on a you know you're sitting at your desk or whatever and you're writing, this is so. These are really really comfortable, extremely comfortable, um, which is why I want to try that CDC 24 because there's no hardware on the back, and I think and it might even be the same width as this one. So I'm assuming that one's probably really comfortable like this one. And the hardware is not too much. Whereas this one, it's bulky. <laughs> I told the sales associate that in the store um, when I tried one of these on before I actually bought one. And I was like, oh, I don't know, because she um, pulled out a T3. And not only does this have a lot of hardware and the leather is wide on it, but if you're not used to having something this bulky on your arm, it could be a turnoff, especially when it's a size up, you know, because when you get your perfect size, it's, it's, it's a lot to have on. You know what I mean? With all this hardware and the wide piece of leather. So they give you a T3. And I think the reason why they do that is because if your wrist is too small, at least you can put it on and get an idea of what it looks like instead of having to pull out different sizes for different people. I think they just go with the T3 and everybody tries on the same old T3, I'm assuming is what they do. Because I've heard other people say the same thing. They went into the store and they tried it on. They didn't like it because it was too big. It was too bulky. And really, I think that's happening because you have a small wrist, but then they're putting a T3 on you. You know what I mean? Instead of pulling out the one that would fit you so you can really get an idea of, of what it looks like so i think they are losing out on sales by not having different sizes for customers to choose from because in the grand scheme of things i would think yeah okay you're you got one of t1 t2 three t3 but if those people who wear a t1 or a t2 only try on a t3 they may not want it because it's too much the presentation is too big it's too bulky the size is too big and they walk away from it but if you would allow them to try it on in their own size they would purchase it so I walked away from it in the store because it looked like it was just too much. And I told the sales associate, oh, this is a little too bulky for me. And in her own way, and I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but in her own way, she corrected me. It was like, yes, it is a bit bold. And I'm up there, it is too bulky. She's like, yeah, well, it is a bit bold. Like, girl, I would never give you a Kelly or Burke. I'm like, mm, I don't care because I already got mine anyway. <laughs>
<laughs> but yeah, it's bold. It's very bold. So it's hard to get a feel of what it really looks like or what it would even feel like if you're in there with this bold bracelet on and it's too big, you know? Why am I putting this back on? There's no reason to do that. Okay, so the next one I'm going to show is another white one, but this one has a palladium hardware and it's a different type of leather too. This one is smooth and like an off-white, whereas this one has a grainy... I think this is like what the a lot of the Constance bags are made out of this material, I'm guessing. And this one is more of a brighter white. But you can see the two together. I'm not really sure the, the ring light might be washing them out to where you can't tell that one is brighter than the other. And I showed in my belt collection video that the belt I have is the same exact um, leather and color. But here's the white one. Or, um, yeah, I don't know if I'll be able to. Can I? Oh, I can. Look at that. So you can see the detail, like the graining detail, the grainy type of detail on this particular bracelet. Whereas this one is a lot more, it's, it's much smoother. And hopefully you can tell by me showing it close up like this, the difference in color. This one is darker and smoother. And this one is brighter, like a, or more like an optic white. And it has the grainier texture. Um, and then this one with the grainier texture has that palladium plated hardware. Same color on the inside, just like they all have. Um, and it's the same size, T2. This one feels thicker. This one feels a lot soft, a lot softer. And this one feels um, stiffer and a bit more rigid. Let me show what this one looks like real quick. This is gonna be a long video, but this is the last one. So here you go, this is what it looks like on. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I think I only wore this one once. I like it, but, um, I, th I think I only wore this one once so far. Am I going to wear it? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I like it. That's why I bought it, but I just haven't had a chance to wear it um, more than once. You know, and to be honest, when I bought the white ones, I was thinking spring, summer. You know, oh, the white, it'll be great for spring, summer, you know. Um, I went to buy this one in person, uh, but I was looking for a white with the yellow gold. And she didn't have, she only had white with rose gold. And when I thought in my mind how fast the rose gold fades, I was like, okay, well, I'll buy it girl and two months is going to look like yellow gold anyway right what difference does it make if it's rose gold and you don't want rose gold you might as well get the rose gold one because it ain't gonna look rose gold no more not like my ring my ring is an 18 karat rose gold ring from hermes that's legit rose gold still let me see if i can take it off um you probably can't see because the ring is so thin i don't know if you'll be able to see the difference in color the rose gold ring versus the the, the hardware on the bracelet that was supposed to be rose gold I don't know if you can see that difference in color. I think you can. You see how the ring is still rose gold, but it's 18 karat rose gold. And then of course the hardware on the on the bracelets are, I don't know what the hardware is, is it brass? With rose gold plating on it? So the rose gold fade out so fast, but on the jewelry it's still rose gold like the day that I bought it and I've had this for, for, for a few years. So yeah, that's all I want to do, just come on here and show these bracelets. Um, I didn't intend for the video to be this long, but of course once I get in front of this camera and I start talking, and this is really so okay half of it is me talking and the other half is me trying to show this stuff in detail and explain some things about it that other people probably didn't mention there's a ton of videos on these bracelets and hermes products in general but i'm giving my own little two cents and trying to bring some shed some light on um some of the things that may not have been mentioned in previous videos uh that other people made so that's it i i hope i'm not forgetting nothing but i guess that's it that's all and um i hope you like the video bye